Hey plush fans, it's Carolyn again and welcome to another video here on Wild Moon Locker. And in today's video we are doing another Goodwill unboxing and this one I've actually been really excited to unbox because of this specific polish right here, but we'll get to that soon enough and you'll see why I'm so excited about that when you see it because it has been a lemming of mine for a while. So let's just jump right in. I will be saving the best for last. So we're gonna open up this bag first. This was $2.99, which I thought was a really great deal. It has two OPIs, two Essies, and a Wet n Wild. I can see that right off the bat. Let's see what we have in bag number one, the $2.99 bag. So I can tell one of them, uh, one of the Essies looks like a top coat. So let's just get that one out of the way. Good to go top coat. Now I don't think I have an Essie top coat yet. So this should be interesting to try. It does look like it might be slightly thicker than usual, at least thicker than most of my other top coats that I have. But we'll see, I do have a polish thinner if need be. So that first one was an Essie, good to go top coat. Let's look at this one. This one is Wet n Wild and it looks like someone took the sticker off that might have the name on it, but it looks like a soft like ballerina cream pink. It definitely needs a good shaking. I'm not sure if this is a color I'll be keeping, although it would be a good spring shade, so it's possible I might keep it and test it out, see if I enjoy the color. Uh, if not, I can always give that one to a friend. The last Essie in this $2.99 bag is this gray one. This one is called Serene Slate. And this one does seem to be sort of a taupey gray or a grayish. Nice color. I do love this shade range and I don't think I have a color exactly like this. It is a basic cream. I don't see any shimmer or glitter or glimmers in there, but it does look like a very nice shade. So this one should be a good one to add to my collection. That one again was called Serene Slate. And then on to the OPIs. This glittery one is called Sugar Plum Yum Glitter Top Coat. Ooh, I did not know that was such a thing. And that is a little bit of a hint towards the other polish that I found in bag number two. But we'll get there soon enough. In any case, this is beautiful. Like I said, I did not know that this polish even existed. I got it mainly because of this OPI here that we're still waiting to look at, but I also really liked this color. I didn't even look at the name. It's a purple glitter, so of course you know I was interested in it. And just look at that. That's really, really beautiful. I really like that. It does definitely seem to be moving around freely in there, so that's really a good sign. This is stunning. I can't wait to try that one out. That's gorgeous. So this is an OPI top coat, Sugar Plum Yum Glitter Top Coat. And then the last OPI in bag number one is this beauty here. Look at that. This is called Mayberry Mauve. This is a beautiful shimmer polish. The base is sort of this gray color. And then all of that shimmer is really popping in pinks. And then you can see the gold up there as well. Actually, on camera, that pink is uh, showing up more orangey than it is in real life. I'm definitely seeing a warm pink. Beautiful color, though. Really lovely. Cannot wait to try this one out. This one seems like it's a really gorgeous, gorgeous polish. So that, again, was OPI's Mayberry Mauve. And then bag number two. This is the one that I was super excited to find. And we're just gonna get right into why, since the bag's now open. <laughs> and I should say that second bag is was $5.99. And here is the reason for the excitement. This has been on my lemming list for quite a while. This is OPI's Sugar Plum Yum. Yep, I found another of my lemmings. At Goodwill. I cannot believe it because every time I see this polish online for sale, it is way above what I would ever spend for nail polish. I am not one of those collectors that will spend $70 on a nail polish. I just won't do it. So I was ecstatic to find this in the nail polish section. 
it does need a good shake let me see if that reacts well very good it does seem to be shaking up quite nicely now this like I said has been on my wish list for a very long time mainly because of the glow that it has it is this lovely soft snowy blue loaded with shimmer that changes from pink to gold really beautiful just look at that really stunning now I'm sure there are similar polishes out there but to find an original is really exciting and this is just a gorgeous gorgeous polish so really excited to add this to my collection finally and again that was sugar plum yum from opi so that was the first one of bag number two the second one in the bag not nearly as exciting of course but this one is a nicole by opi called back to reality tv and this one i actually do already have but it is a really fun color it is sort of this purpley blurply periwinkle tone not quite as bright as what's on camera in fact what's on my nails is also not as bright as it is on camera this is more of a dusty coloration and then what's inside the polish is a pink shimmer that does sort of shift from a pink to, I can't quite tell if that's a, a gold, might be a sort of an orangey gold. See right there at the bottom, you can see that sort of orange flash. It is a really beautiful polish. I'm not sure if I need two bottles of it though, so this one might be going into a D stash, but it is a gorgeous polish. Next up in that bag is this one from China Glaze. This one is called Blue Suede. And this one is a really cool sort of blued gray gunmetal sort of color. And look at all that shimmer. That's really pretty. I don't think I have anything quite like this. This is a really cool polish. I will definitely be curious to see how this one shows up on the nail. But lovely shade. And the base of it almost has sort of a blurply, like a really deep blurply tinge to it. Very interesting. So that one again was by China Glaze called Blue Suede. And this poor guy, this might be a dead bottle, but this is a CoverGirl Nail Slicks. And this is called Galactic Green. It definitely has spilled. Let's see if it's alive inside. Not really. There's only about half left and it's definitely gloopy, but that's okay. It happens now and again. <laughs> so this was a cover girl, but that's the first of the polishes that we're unpacking that's most likely just going to go in the garbage. This little guy is another little mini bottle around. I'm not quite sure who might make this. It is a light sort of buttercream yellow in a shimmer formula. Like I said, I'm not sure who made that, but yellows aren't my favorites. I will most likely pass this one on to a friend. Next up is this pink from Essie, cute as a button. This is definitely a brighter pink than I'm usually drawn to. It's definitely like a flamingo watermelon sort of color, but I have been surprising myself at colors that I like. So I might hold on to this and compare it to other pinks that I have and give it a try on my natural nail and see if I like it. So that again was Essie's cute as a button. The next Essie is a red. This one is called Forever Yummy. This one is actually a nice tone of red. It's got a little bit of a depth to it, not quite a burgundy. It's definitely still in the red family, but it is a deep red, which I do like. So I will probably try this against some of the reds that I've already swatched and compared and see how it matches. But it is a beautiful cream polish. I'll be curious to see how this one looks against my skin tone and see if I like it. But that one again was called Forever Yummy. And then the last full size is this polish from Jamberry. And this one is called Dusk. And this one does need a really, really good shake. It's definitely got some ugly bottle syndrome going on. And that is still sort of maintaining despite me shaking it. But the inside polish might be okay. This is one of those colors seemingly that I talk about a lot. A very dusty sort of purple gray. So it's a, in a color that I like. Let's see seems to actually be fairly in good shape 
inside the bottle just like I said sort of got ugly bottle syndrome going on but I don't have any polishes from Jamberry I'm not sure how their formula is if you have any experience with it let me know down below but this one again was Jamberry Dusk and then the last little polish in this bag number two is a mini from OPI and this one might not even have a name on it it's just a tiny little bottle. This is so cute. If you've watched my videos before, you'll know that minis are not necessarily my favorite for nail polish. Reason being is I find that when you have a collection that is the size of mine and you have mini bottles, they tend to dry out before you get a chance to even wear them once because you buy them, you think they're cute in the bottle, you set them on your shelf, and then you, you know, go about wearing your manis. So I have found that most of the minis that I have have dried out before I get a chance to wear them but this is really cute it is a very rich plum purple not really sure what color this might be named but it is a beautiful color again I might pass this one on to a friend who likes little bottles but very cute so there you have it I definitely think I got my money's worth for $2.99 for this first bag and $5.99 for the bag containing sugar plum yum from OPI really ecstatic again to have found that one because that was definitely on my lemming list for a long time so let me know down below which one was your favorites let me know if you have this and how it compares to any other nail polishes that you think might be either dupes or very similar to it and also let me know if you had ever heard of the top coat for it because like i said this was new to me so i'm excited to try that one as well make sure to like and subscribe down below for more nail polish videos here on my channel and i'll see you next time